Hi everyone, I'm back today with the third layout in our Complete Wedding Album series. Um, today we're doing a two-page double 12x12 12 12 layout. And this page is for the bride and groom. A lot of times um, photographers will take uh, portraits of the bride and groom separately and then there's a lot of pictures for like the shoes, the dress, the accessories, stuff like that. So this page could work for those types of photos. Um, or if they don't have those types of photos, you could just put in um, pictures of them maybe from before they got married with a little journaling about each other. Um, it, it is pretty versatile. So we're starting out with this piece of designer paper. Um, I've cut it down a quarter of an inch on this side, this side, and this side because we're going to line them up flush in the center. I have a piece of this black polka dot paper. It's cut at three inches by, I think, 11 and 3 quarters. And then I'm going to adhere it to some black cardstock. Um, I was actually running low on 12 by 12 black cardstock, so I just cut a piece from an 8.5 by 11 sheet. It's 3.5 inches um, in width, and then it will tuck right under our border piece, so it won't show that it's too short. So I'm just going to line this up flush to the edge. And then adhere it down. Then we're going to adhere this piece to our great designer card stuff. Or designer paper. You want to line these up really carefully so that you can line the black polka dotted paper up against each other. And then make sure you get all the way to the edge of the gray. Next we have this border sheet, and this was cut from the paper stuff. And it already had a pretty scallop on it, so I didn't do any um, border punching or anything. I didn't think that it needed it. We're just going to line this up flush. extra poking out from both pieces. So I'm just going to take my trimmer, line it right up on the edge, and then trim off the excess. And this just gives us like a really uh, clean line. And now I'm going to adhere this piece to our black cardstock. And again, just line them up carefully. And then use the other uh, side of the layout as a guide to where you want it placed. Next we're going to take our photo mats. I have two 4x6 photo mats. And then I have six 3 inch by 3 inch photo mats. 
And um, again, these are cut up. The cardstock is cut up by a quarter of an inch. So for these, the white cardstock is three and a quarter of an inch by three and a quarter of an inch, and the black cardstock is three and a half inches by three and a half inches. For these larger ones, the white cardstock is four and a quarter inches by six and a quarter inches, and the black cardstock is four and a half inches by six and a half inches. So these little ones are going to go on the bottom. The missing one. Now you can add photos to these, obviously, um, or you can just take a blank piece of paper and journal on it and stick in here as well if you wanted to add some journaling to the layout. For the bride side, I have this dress that I created. This is off of the Wedding Solutions cartridge. Um, it's cut at five and a half inches. Um, what I did is I cut the bottom layer and then I embossed it with my Cuddlebug texture, emboss texture embossing folder and then I cut the top layer out of the white glitter paper but there are other dresses on other cartridges um, Sweetheart's cartridge has one Forever Young has a bunch of dresses Formal Occasion even the Disney Princess cartridges could be used to um, alter the cuts a little bit to find a dress that is most similar to the one that you like or that was most similar to the one um, that's going to be in the pictures. This title was cut from the Sweetheart's cartridge at two and three quarters of an inch. I have a shoe here that was cut from the Wedding Solutions cartridge at two inches. The bouquet was cut from the same cartridge at two inches as well. And then the tiara was cut at one inch. For the groom's side, I have a tux. This was cut from a Sweetheart's cartridge at five and a half inches, and I hand altered it. I cut the bottom layer in black and then in white. I trimmed off the top layer in the white and adhered that down so I could have a white shirt. And then I cut the coat out of the gray and then the um, uh, what do you call it? The um, the collar and the bow tie were cut out of the black as well. The groom's title was cut from the Sweetheart's cartridge as well, and it was cut at two and a quarter of an inch. The hat was cut from the Wedding Solutions cartridge. And what I did, I cut the hat once, and then I cut the band twice, and I hand cut out the the um, the bow here and adhered it so it would have more dimension. And then the shoe was cut from the Sweetheart's cartridge at two and a quarter of an inch. The actual original cut com comes with a woman's shoe and a man's shoe. I just took my gypsy and took the woman's shoe out. So now that I have everything where I want it, I'm going to go ahead and start adhering my photo mats. the whole thing over. And sometimes when you have a small pattern like this with a 
polka dot or a stripe, it's really nice because it can help you line everything up. So now I can start adhering my cut. And I'm going to use a little bit of liquid glue on those again. Most of these are popped up on foam, but I have a couple that I'm going to adhere flat. Now I'm going to adhere the bouquet in the tiara flap, and it can overlap the um, photo mat just a little, that's fine because it's not overlapping the actual photo. I have no idea what that sound was. <laughs>
and there is our completed third layout in our complete wedding album. And I hope you guys will come back soon and see the fourth layout. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.